Hello guys, it's Rick Aqua here and welcome to another video. This is going to be a special one. We're closing to that time where I can't hear the 4K videos, my machine is messing up. So I was thinking about getting a custom build, a custom PC build. And I have this friend who has been doing this for a very, very long time. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. He has been making amazing PC builds right here in Ghana. So today I'm going to bring him on. We're going to ask him a couple of questions. Is it easy to build here? What we are going to need and everything you need to know before building a custom PC. So here we go. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Desmond. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that is out there. <laughs> I have a channel on Gordy Max where I do custom computer builds, tech reviews, and the likes. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing this, building computers? Well, I've been doing system builds for quite a while, since as far back as 2008, since when all I had was a pinch and three years, basically. How long does it take to get a custom build? Well, getting a custom PC is in sessions. It's not just about getting up and getting the build. Just the consultation, that is getting to understand what you need. Then there's the part selection and acquisition, and then the actual building. So the duration it takes usually depends on how quickly you get your components. The actual building of the custom PC doesn't take as long. It takes maybe a day. Yeah. A few hours for the build, but then some more time for testing, stability checks, and the like. So, can you give us a price range for a normal user if anybody wants to get a PC? Well, your budget is just as much as your imagination or your pockets will allow. But I usually have a cutoff point depending on what your usage or your use case scenario is. So, that's where the consultation comes in. So, we have a sit down, we chat. I get to know what exactly you need and then I can give you a price range that you start from. But it is usually affordable. Wink, wink. <laughs> what are we going to do today? Okay, so today what we're going to do is we are going to take an old client's build that was done a year ago and then we're going to transform it into something better. Okay, so he realized that his usage was getting a bit more demanding so he needed something faster than what he already had. So we're going to show you the old or the current build and then by the time we're done, you see how awesome it will look afterwards. So, brief overview. This is a pretty standard machine for an architect who does a lot of ranging and 3D works and, and the likes. And we have an i7-6700K, an RX580, which is the graphics card. We have 128 gigabytes of SSD storage, which is really small by today's standards. We're gonna need something bigger. So I'm thinking maybe one terabyte, possibly. And um, we're gonna change basically everything from the casing, the cooling, the whole lot. By the time that we're done with this, you can see just how awesome it's gonna turn out. So let's move to the components. Let's see what we're gonna put in here. We're back. So you've seen the old build. Now for the new one. These are the new components. We start from the top here. We have an i9-9900K. Beautiful CPU, I'm telling you. Beast of a CPU. We're gonna use a 240 millimeter cooler because this needs a lot of cooling. We're gonna use a Fantex P400 tempered glass case. We're gonna use 32 gigabytes or 3,600 megahertz DDR4 RAM. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? And a thousand watt power supply a Z370 motherboard, and a GTX 1080 Ti. Fun fact, this might possibly change into an RTX 2080 Ti soon, depending on the client budget. And for storage, a one terabyte M.2 SSD. Now, to any of you that find all of this gibberish, just send us a comment. We'll be happy to break down all the components to you and just to show you what each of these things mean. But for those of you who know what I'm talking about, to the build. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see now, the entire build has been completed, done and dusted. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? The entire process took a few hours, but you know, we still made it here. Anyway, my name is Desmond, it's been nice being here. Thank you.